Some South Africans seem to not have a sense of humor. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to News in 5. I'm your host, Joe Emilio. Thanks for tuning in. Now, if you want to support me and this channel, why don't you consider becoming a member to this channel? There's some perks if you become a member to this channel. For just 60 Rand a month, you can support me and the work that I do on this channel, and the support is greatly appreciated. Go to the join button below this video to find out more information. So it would seem that some South Africans don't have a sense of humor, or at least don't understand Gareth Cliff's sense of humor. I'm just gonna show the meme that Gareth Cliff put up on his Instagram story. When the best you can come up with for Halloween is to dress up as a turd. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's funny. Well, that's funny! That is funny. And I know I'm not the only one who thinks so. But alas, some people are having chest pains like this guy. Dear Gareth Cliff, if you meant this as an attack on Dr. Nalidi Pondor, you missed. It tells us more about you. I won't bother attaching obvious labels. What a miserable soul you are. Definitely wasn't meant as an attack, was a joke. I mean, after all, just look. Can you not see it? That's funny. And that line tells me more about you. Tells me everything I need to know. The haters just love using that line, but it's a line that means nothing because it's a line that you use when you've got no evidence to support your claim. Tell me everything I need to know about you. I mean, show me where Gareth Cliff touched you on your studio. And of course, Gareth Cliff was trending on Twitter. But personally, I love what Gareth Cliff says here. To be clear, I don't care if you're upset or offended. Those are your problems to deal with. I'm not required to be polite or tiptoe around your emotional fragility. As 2024 rolls around, expect me to care even less. And call me whatever you like. You don't know what's in my head. You can't know. I'm very happy and very lucky to be me. I'm grateful for that and disinterested in what strangers might think of me. I foresee a year of great excitement in 2024. And I couldn't agree more with Gareth, and I second that, as a matter of fact, because sometimes haters are on my YouTube channel or social media thinking that they can just call me names and insult me, and I don't let it get to me. Like Gareth said, couldn't care less what you think of me because you don't know me. And some say that Gareth is trying to become relevant again. For who? The man has the most successful podcast in South Africa. He doesn't need to be relevant for anyone. He has nothing to prove. And what's even more interesting to me is that people seem to forget that this lady, this minister, is the same minister that's been made fun of because of her feet time and time again. I mean, just have a look at some of these photos and posts. I don't know about you, but that foot reminds me of that ugly Fiat. You know, the one that people drive and you're thinking to yourself, did you actually buy that? Anyways, it's obviously just haters hating on Gareth. They hate us because they ain't us. Haters gonna hate. What a miserable soul you are if this gives you chest pains. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think the meme was funny or not? If you enjoyed this content, you might enjoy these videos. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and share it far and wide. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've got more content coming your way and also give some thought to becoming a member. You might enjoy it. And with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.